Welcome to the homework for lesson eight. This is module four of grade two. Write your name first. And we're solving vertically and drawing and bundling place value disks on the place value chart. Now, by now, most second graders are really comfortable using the place value chart and drawing the place value disks. And what they'll tend to do in this assignment is draw the disks and then just write down the vertical answer without actually doing the vertical math. So I, for that reason, I highly recommend doing the vertical method first and then drawing the place value disks. So here's what it should look like. Vertically, 26 plus 35. The 6 and the 5, that's 11. So that's a 10 and a 1. There's a 10 and there's a 1. And then we add the 10s. 2, 3, that's 5. One more is 61. So on the place value chart, it looks like this. 10s and 1s. 26 is 2 10s. And 2, 3, 4, 5. Six ones, and then thirty-five is one, two, three tens, and one, two, three, four, five more ones. Bundle these to make another ten, and we're not going to count those twice, so we have. Six tens and a one sixty one. Twenty eight. And what I mean by this is that uh, what I said in the beginning is that a lot of times we'll see this first, the place value chart all done, and then they'll write it vertically and then just write the sixty one. And I won't see this little crutch mark here that little 10 and that tells me that you didn't do the vertical method that you just wrote down the answer after you wrote it down vertically and that's not practicing vertical method which is really what we sh should be doing practicing the vertical method and checking it with a place value disk is really what we're supposed to be doing for this so 28 plus 14 do the vertical way first and then check it with the disks 8 plus 4 we're going to always do Right. Mentally, we would always do the tens first, but this is a pencil and paper method. So we're always going to, when we do it vertical, right, and some people will draw in a little line here to separate the tens and the ones. That's okay. You don't have to do it, but if it helps you, then keep doing it. Eight and four is 12. That's a 10 and, and two ones. Here's our 10. There's our two ones, and now we add our tens, two, three, four, 42. Now another benefit of doing the place value method, the place value disks, is that if you're weak in your math facts and you don't know eight plus four is 12 right, right off in your head, if you don't know that, then uh, you draw the disks and you count it. So that does make it a little bit easier if you are weak in some of your basic math facts. tens and ones and we're going to draw let me make these bigger so I can fit the numbers inside draw the 28 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and again always when you're drawing these charts organize them into 10 frame five group columns so you have you can look at them and check them it makes them easier to count you won't make a lot of mistakes that you'd otherwise make 14 is a 10 and four ones one two three four there gotta bundle these that'll make it 10 so you have four tens not going to count these twice 
two ones, 42 should be the same answer. 35 and 27. Do it vertically first. Don't do this mentally. We're trying to practice the vertical method here. So look at the ones digits first, 5 and 7. That's 12. That's a 2 and 10 and 1, 10. And then 3, 2, 5, 1 more is 6, 62. You've got to see this little crutch mark here. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you didn't do it. You did it mentally. Probably, maybe you can do this mentally. But the idea is that we really want to practice this vertical method with smaller numbers that are easier to manage because later on we're going to be doing this with hundreds and then when you get into um, third grade you're going to be doing it with thousands and then fourth grade even bigger numbers so the idea is that this vertical method really works with larger place values but those really larger place values are going to be a giant pain when you, if you're drawing place value discs for them so right now we're practicing 35 three tens Five ones, two, three, four, five, and twenty-seven is two more tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones, seven more ones. So that we don't have a total of seven ones, we want seven more ones. Sometimes that mistake gets made too. Here's the ten group. I'm not going to count that twice, but we are going to draw it as another, as redraw it as a 10. Count the 10s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 1s. 62. 23. 46. 6 and 3 is 9. 2 and 4 is 6. 10s and 1s. It's going to be. 23 is two tens and three ones. And the 46 is going to be one, two, three, four tens. And six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six ones. And count them. It's six tens, nine ones for 69. <laughs> And we've got one more of them here on the next page. 32 plus 59. Always start with the ones digits first. 9 and 2 is 11. That's a 10 and a 1. And then add the tens digits. 5 and 3 is 8. One more is 9. Looking at the place value chart. Tens and ones, right? Zoomed in a little too much there. Three ten, thirty-two is three tens and two ones. One, two, three tens, two ones. Then the fifty-nine is five tens and nine ones. So that's one, two, three, four, five two more tens. Right? And nine ones. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones. There's ten ones. We gotta redraw those as a ten. And now we count our tens. That's nine. And there's a single one left there, ninety-one. Twenty-eight second-grade students went on a field trip to the zoo. The other twenty-four second-grade students stayed at the school. How many second-grade students are there in all? So we're adding... Twenty-eight went to the zoo. And the twenty-four... We stayed at school. 
How many are there in all? We want to know the whole thing. So that's 28, 24, 8 and 4 is 12. That's a 10 and two ones. 2, 4, and one more is 5, 52. All right, so we're going to draw that in a place value chart with the disks. 10s and 1s. 28 is going to be two 10s. 8 ones, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then the 24 is two more 10s. And four more ones. One, two, three, four. That's a 10. We can bundle those. We're not going to count them twice, so we'll cross those out. And mm, 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 there's the 10 that we replace them with. How many 10s do we have? One, two, three, four, five, tens. Two ones. That makes 52. And that's the vertical, matches our vertical answer. Vertical sum. And this is a word problem, so we need an answer statement here, too. There are 52 second graders. Alice cut a 27 centimeter piece of ribbon and had 39 centimeters of ribbon left over. How much ribbon did she have at first? So she cut this is what she cut and this is what she had left over. L for leftover. And what she had at first, the two put together. So before she cut it, they were both together. 27 plus 39. 7 plus 9, 16. That's a 6, 6 ones, and a 10, 10, 6, 16. And then we have 2 and 3, 5, more 66. We'll draw this. Tens, ones, 27 and 39. So 27 is two tens. And seven ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there the 39 left over is one, two, three tens. Okay, tens. And nine more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine more ones. Not a total of nine ones, but nine more ones. And we can see here we've got ten ones we can bundle together redraw them as a 10. Not going to count them twice and we can see look at this like it's like a 10 frame right here right so that's a six and then we have six here 66 is that the same as we had for our verticality yes it is 66 we need an answer statement because this is a word problem Alice had 66 had 66 centimeters of ribbon at first.